Hey guys, so today I will be showing you how to make a Transformers text effect using Photoshop CS5. Alright, so let's begin. First, what you want to do is go to File, New, and this should be the size that you sh should have 1000 by 1000 pixels. Click OK. Now, here, what you want to do is go to the Paint Bucket tool and make sure it's black and just click. And now you want to be creating your text. Alright, and also make sure the text is white. So here, just type in anything you want. Alright, so there's a font called SF Trans Robotics. And I will have the download link inside in the description. So just download it there and drag the font. And if you don't know how to do that, I also have a tutorial for it. And I'll also put in the description. Alright, so when you when you download it, just type in whatever you want. I'm gonna just put in transformers. Alright. So when you finish putting transformers, what you want to do is right click on the layer and click on rasterize type. I don't know if I said it right. Alright, in here you want to click on the zoom in button and zoom in here. It doesn't have to be this close. And now you want to click Control J. Oh, just kidding. You want to go and click on this. Have that on rectangular. And here, what you want to do is basically cut some of the T and and for PC users you want to click control T so you can turn it around and for Mac I think it's command T so here what we want to do is turn it around so it can be perfectly at 90 degrees and you can also change it up here to 90 and you want to alright so here you want to drag it so you want to make it big enough so it can fit like the T and you also want to do that with the F. So quick check. Try to like. Alright. So when you finish making the T, you want to start on the F. This is probably the hardest part into making it. So the rest is just changing the blending options and that stuff. Alright, so when you finish doing that. Alright, so now it should look like this F and the T grew longer. Alright, so now what you want to do is right click on the text layer and go to blending options. And here we'll be creating like a sort of 3D text effect. So now you want to go to uh, Beeble and Emboss and you want to change the technique to chisel hard and just follow what I'm doing here. Change the angle from 45 to 21. And at the highlight and shadow mode, you want to put the opacity at 100. Alright, click OK. Alright, so now at this part, what you want to do is either you can right click and you like duplicate, or you can just press Ctrl J. So when you press Ctrl J, you're making another copy. And on each copy you wanna on the arrow key you wanna go one up and one to the right and you wanna make five four copies of this and one more so now you have a total of five 
copies. So now what you want to do is you want to control kick click on all the copied layers and then you want to right click and go to merge layers so be more organized so now what we're going to do is create basically the transformers look so here what we want to do is right click on the copied layer and go to blending options so you want to go check inner glow first and here we screen and you want the opacity at 30 and the size of 5 so leave it like that the second thing we want is bevel and emboss on this you want the style inner bevel the technique at smooth and you want the depth at 650 percent and on the shading you want the angle at 45 and the altitude at 21 degrees so now you want to go to color overlay and on the color you want on the number you want 31464F and click OK and on the blend mode you want to add color dodge alright so now you want to go to gradient overlay and on the blend mode you want the you want it to be on overlay and you want the gradient the first one at black and the second one you want the number to be 90999D and just click OK so now you want to go to pattern overlay and here you want to go here and you want to click on texture still 2 click OK and you want to click on stucco and you want to scale at 100% and click OK so that's basically all guys thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video